everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and having an amazing week and welcome to this little video about how to use Gamblin's Gamble. Thank you so much for your amazing comments on my hate comment video, I appreciate it so much. I apologise, I have been away, in fact I actually have the slight flu, I have had so for just over a week so I'm a little bit delirious. It was definitely one of those weird type of flu situations where I've actually, only, actually, actually only had a mild headache and that's it so I have been doing things but I just haven't really felt up to filming. I've been doing something really good which is I finally set up my Etsy shop. I will leave a link either today in my description or very soon uh, because I have managed to list some of my paintings on there but there aren't that many, there are about six I think. So I really would appreciate it if you like my art and want to check it out then you can check out the link and I will be adding new paintings every single day. I thought I would talk about how to use this Gamvar varnish by Gamblin because I started out using this varnish when I wanted to oil, uh, start varnishing my oil paintings and in actual fact I find that there is a special technique to use this varnish. The reason I decided to use it is because I heard that the National Gallery uses it on their sort of old master paintings which I just thought was incredible and so it is a very very famous very popular varnish but there is a particular skill and technique in how to use it and I've given a demo at the end of this video or actually just in a moment so you can have a look and see uh, how to use it because the very confusing and difficult problem with this particular varnish is that on Instagram quite a lot of artists use varnish by pouring it on their paintings and then going like this which is uh, horizontal or vertical sort of stripes and by adding a lot of varnish to their paintings but with using this particular varnish that is a really really bad idea Gamblin actually have an instructional video on how to use this varnish and I feel like some artists bypass that, at least I know I did. I mean I watched it and then I thought okay but I've seen on Instagram other people just like pouring it on so I decided to do that and that is a huge mistake. The technique that Gamblin recommends is to actually basically massage it into your paintings, it sounds super weird but it, I'll show you how to do it and it really does work. The technique is basically to essentially get the smallest amount of varnish into the sort of fibres of the painting um, and that actually disperses the varnish evenly and it doesn't leave you with horrible street marks. If you use too much of this, which is so easy to do, um, in actual fact it dries really patchy and also can dry in like puddles. So this is definitely the best technique to do it in and I'm going to show you now so don't make the mistake, same mistake that I did you can uh, initially I do it properly now and actually when you do it properly in thin very thin layers you get a beautiful effect you can remove this varnish with Gamvar but I Gamsol <laughs> I find Gamblin's names also so confusing because it all begins with Gam something um, but yeah it's a Gamsol you can remove this with Gamsol but uh, why you know waste the time of doing that just watch this video and watch the instructional video that Gamblin have on their website and it's also on YouTube so here, here we have Gamvar gloss varnish and we also have a container to decant the varnish into because this is the best way to dip sort of dip your brush in so you don't get too much varnish on your brush as opposed to pouring it directly onto the painting this is the painting we're varnishing and uh, it's on a panel but of course you can use this varnish on canvas as well so I'm pouring it in here just the tiniest amount and I'm wiping the excess off the brush onto a paper towel. Now here's a technique, you massage it into the painting using a brush in circular motions. This is the best technique, it's what's shown on Gamblin's website. And whilst it doesn't look like there's a sheen coming up here, there is, if you can see in the light, a nice sheen, a delicate layer of gloss varnish, and there are no streaks whatsoever. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Take care.